Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Philip Homiser, and today I'm going to show you how to remove chromatic aberration in Photoshop. If you don't know what chromatic aberration is, it's when you have a uh, dark contrast area over a light contrast, and it will uh, create this, uh, in most cases, you'll get this chromatic aberration. You see this purple fringing uh, over the boy's face and over the horse's face here. Sometimes it's purple, sometimes it's green, sometimes it's a little blue. And it's actually really easy to remove. Uh, so we'll go up ahead, go up here to filter, camera raw filter, and we'll go to the lens corrections tab over here. And you've got this purple amount, and you've got this green amount. Um, I, I do have a, I do have a, a uh, some green as an example. I've got a branch up here that I uh, normally I'll remove, but um, I'm going to use it as an example because it's got the green chromatic aberration. You see the green in the branch there, so I'm going to show you how to remove that also. So. <clears throat> We've got the uh, purple here. We're going to use the purple slider to remove the purple chromatic aberrations. Just zoom in. I'll just zoom into the uh, to this one here. So we'll just grab the purple amount and drag it over to about a five, and it'll completely remove that chromatic aberration, the purple chromatic aberration. Uh, if that if that doesn't remove it completely, you can change the hue here. You can move this around, um, or you can grab the end and slide it like that. Or if, or if the if it's got more blue in it than purple, um, you can slide this over to the blue area over here, and that should get rid of it. Let's go ahead and go up here to the branch, and it's got all this green chromatic aberration up here. So we're going to grab the green slider and slide it over to about a five, and that removes that. So now we've completely removed all the chromatic aberration. We can press OK. And that's how you remove chromatic aberration in Photoshop. Uh, don't forget to subscribe so you, you'll be notified of uh, future tutorials as they come out. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.